we got our origami killer. I want every available man to finding Ethan Mars. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. Hi! This is Artem, and welcome to the Heavy Rain demo. First things first, I just wanted to get my little announcement out of the way. I have a Patreon. I just fired it up recently. There's only currently one tier available. I'm calling it the Spring Eclipse Special. It's just for general support right now, but if you like what I do or if you wanna be a part of what I do, you can become a patron. That aside, back to the game, Heavy Rain Demo. This game is a, oh, it says right there, Quantic Dream Game. Now, I just did a Let's Play on Detroit Become Human the demo, and I just literally finished playing the demo for Beyond Two Souls, which was fantastic. Like the demos are just so unreal. It's so incredible. So I was like, I have to try this game. Lit, barely, barely. Okay. Yeah, maybe a little brighter. Uh, Let's go ahead and say, there we go. This will be it. Last time they only had two choices. <laughs> Beyond Two Souls only was basically, do you play or don't you play? And I said, yeah, sure, I play. And I think it was just like way out of my league. <laughs> so as you can see, I have like, normally I, uh, normally I at least try the game to make, just to make sure that it works. But this time I am just jumping in, so. Just downloaded it, re like I downloaded it just now. So this sounds like, this looks like the same screen. Start the demo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm literally so excited. Oh, to interact, hold left click and move the mouse to make the indicated movement. Oh, okay. Yes. The Onto Souls is like this too. Try to do it slowly to see how you control the animation speed. Okay. Oop. So, there we go. <laughs> Press uh, left control to switch camera angles, use them to explore your environment. Okay. Oh, so yeah, the camera changes a little bit. Oh, my bad. What am I doing? <laughs> Press and hold down each key appearing until they all disappear. Okay. Oops. That's funny. Yep, Beyond Two Souls is kind of the same. It was kind of had a bit of a, uh, what I would describe as a rather complicated. <laughs> <coughs> At any time, you can listen to what your character thinks by pressing and holding down. Asthma. Goddamn asthma. I can't breathe when it rains. Huh? Now, see, that's... Okay. I don't know, I find... The controls are a little bit complicated, but honestly, I love it. I find it innovative, and I think it's like the oh, that's one. Oh, awesome! I honestly think it's the future. Like, it's just so amazing how it... there's just so many. Um, I don't know how to say it. Uh, control patterns, so many opportunities, so many different combinations. It's just, it's really cool. Sort of adds to the suspense a little bit too. I haven't posted Beyond Two Souls out. I hit that. Where'd it go? As of my current rec recording, I haven't posted Beyond Two Souls yet, but um, Beyond Two Souls is very action packed. At least the demo is. So, I mean, I was freaking out with all the extra controls. <laughs> What's going on here? What does this mean? Is that like the loading screen? <laughs> I 
This is supposed to be a psychological thriller about a killer, a serial killer, who has a thing for origami. So. Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Oh. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? Oh my gosh. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Uh, don't disappear on me. Yep. Are you deaf? I have nothing to say to you. Get out of here. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? Aww. What do you want to know? Uh-oh. Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know, in his own way, I think he understood what was going on. How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him. I can move. You want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. Oh, I can like sit places. Cool. Tell me about Johnny's father. A loser without a job who liked to beat me after a few drinks? He left the day Johnny disappeared. I ain't seen him since. Coward. Good thing he left. Do you know if they found anything on the wasteland? Any leads or witnesses? No. He said you must have run away and you probably end up coming back. His body was found five days later with an origami figure in his hand and an orchid on his chest. Hey, 
Can I interact with that like tissue box or something? was the most precious thing I had. The only good thing in my whole fucking life. He was taken away from me for no reason. Go away. Get out of here! Sadness. Sadness. But let's get out of here. Actually, yeah. I <laughs> can't help but want to explore. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail. Oh, okay. Give me a call. Oof. How do I get out of here? Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> the toes are going through the floor. Okay. <laughs> you yawning? It's definitely different not being able to control. Okay. Oh my gosh. I didn't learn squat. Well, it's worth a try. Yeah, right. Uh, tact is not my strong suit. Uh, no point in pushing it. She's not gonna tell me anymore. She just lost her kid. I can understand how she's... <laughs> in my defense, the asthma option wasn't there. Is there no more? Or... Lauren! Lauren, open up, baby! It's me! Troy, what are you doing here? I already told you, I don't want to see you anymore. Whoa, Sorry, whoa, whoa. But I really wanted to see ya. I'm not leaving. Ah! Yep. What do you want, asshole? Lauren! Is everything alright? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm oh gosh, no fighting. Shit out of you. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> That's 
harsh. I'll see you again, asshole. <laughs> Get out of here. Are you alright? <sighs> Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. Oh. Uh -huh. I wonder what would have happened if we oh. left. I <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion that this sort of game would have allowed you to leave. Reminder, press and hold W down the indicated button simultaneously until it disappear. Oh, okay. Now, what's this? Yeah, I think this is a loading screen. It's so weird. It's very strange. Anyhow, it the, the action, you know, play is not unlike Beyond Two Souls. But Beyond Two Souls, I was really struggling. They had, like, the weirdest like button combinations like it was bad <laughs> but it was interesting because you never really know when when the decision is a good decision or a bad decision it just keeps going so it's like really cool oh. It's nice to have a nice big mouse pad <laughs> playing this. Sometimes I'll do like the little directional mouse thing and it'll just like. The zone for section off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Get it. Oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. So... Okay. We can go. I guess we're not going over there. Wait, look at this. There we go. Oh, are those special glasses? They look like special glasses. Video memo recording, Agent Ooh. 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. What are we doing? What are we looking for? Am I moving? <laughs> Wait! Wait! Don't take all that stuff off! <laughs> I didn't know what 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 the thing meant. I kind of just like assumed. Well, maybe not assumed, but I didn't know. I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me you'd be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Uh-oh. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. 
We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Oh. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. Oops. We should know more once the coroner <laughs> has had a look. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Can you stop? Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Uh -oh. Yes, Lieutenant. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No, no, of course not. That's that's not what I meant. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden, you come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I keep seeing a symbol there. I'm gonna go over there and maybe <laughs> make use of this glove thing and then see if that gives me anything. You can't run. <laughs> Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Okay. There's a bit of a trail here. Very common. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Okay. Oh, there's another one. I mean, is it more pollen stuff? Doesn't look like it. it looks like it's something different. There's a bottle here. What does that mean? Bank manager divorced. <laughs> Driver license. No phone record. Paper. Unrelated to the investigation. What? How come that? How come that bottle gave up all that information? Kind of reminded me of. Uh, Detroit Human a little bit. Can I look into this again? It doesn't look right. Maybe. Maybe. Harry, comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. Oh. There's a lot of things to look at here. There's the orchid. And the orchid was placed on the victim's chest. Less than 12 hours ago. Let's... Ooh, what's that? Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. Oh. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Okay, and now let's go over here, and what's the thing for that? Oh, okay. I was just trying to make sure that I could get it. <laughs> Oh, and there's the origami. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. Oh, what's this? That's new. The victim is Jeremy Bowles. Declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Oh, is this in a new, like, in a future where, like, everybody knows your stuff? His face <laughs> is covered with mud, like the other victims. Okay, is there anything else? So far it kinda reminds me of the Witcher with the uh, <laughs> the way you could the way you could follow the pollen and you know, looking at the body and stuff like that. It's interesting. Harry comment, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Is that it? Can't go over there. I don't know what to do from here. <laughs> Maybe we go over there. Maybe we start firing off this. Okay, can I go beyond the track at all? Okay, so the game doesn't actually let me go very far here. <laughs> hey, hey, there's a few things over here. Very common. There are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. 
The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. Oh. Learning new things. <laughs> Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Gosh, let's keep going then. Wait, something went through right here. Why are you trapped? Harry coming. Traces of blood on the railroad track. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. Yes, we might as well continue. I really just want to look behind me and see if there's I'm any. Head back to the office. Okay. You stay in. Yeah, yep. I'm gonna have another look around if you don't mind. Take all the time you want. I want to finish scanning this area because just in case. You never know. Can't know unless you explore, right? This technology is very interesting. Oh my god, death. I'm gonna die. Okay. <laughs> that freaked me out. I thought for sure I was dead. Okay. I wish I could run. <laughs> Either this is a way that could... I'm scared. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> and you can't control the camera? Like, uh, the free of the, um... Oh, you can't go up here. Oh. Yep, I just got messy. It's because of all the rain. Oh. Oops. All right, let's try again. Come on, come on. Come on. I don't know if I should let go after I make it or not. <laughs> okay, three. I'm letting go just to try. Okay. It looks like it didn't like. Oh my gosh, there's a few places. <laughs> Oh man, let's go here. More footsteps. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Well, we only know that. What, are we gonna follow this? We're we gonna follow it? Very common. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. Maybe the killer's car. I think I've seen all there is to see. Oh, really? Where does this go? Careful. <laughs> I think that's it. Can I go over here? <laughs> I like to explore every crevice. That may be a little bit funny. Anything else? Anything else? That's it. Just slide down. Oops. It's almost cruel what they're doing here. <laughs> awesome. And I think we just have two more things to finally look at. And, oh, look, a little coffee table. I am going to go see if I can help myself. Mary Connor, a sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Oh, we're finding a lot of their stuff. Isn't that like the second thing we found that there's... Can't get any coffee? Okay. <laughs> I want to talk to him. How do I talk to you? How do I talk to you? It's available for three seconds. Not even. There we go. Is that a coffee you're drinking there? There's some in the thermos behind you. Help yourself. When did they find the body? Excuse me, but 
Who are you exactly? Nam and Jaden, FBI. If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Oh well, yeah. Yeah, of course. It's pretty chilly, huh? <laughs> I am going to grab some coffee. Yay, we can drink the coffee. I love that. Like every game should have, you know, some nibbles available. I may should be able to dance too. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> I may have to skip all this walking. <laughs> It's a little slow. Oh, so the pers uh, the uh, perspective changes that much. What's this? Harry, comment, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Okay. Well, I think that's the last of it. Go ahead and pack up your little... <laughs> well, you pack all your gear and uh, let's it go. Uh, let's go. Hey, who's this? Who are you guys? Who are you people? Who invited you? <laughs> okay, nothing over here. Gonna walk through the water. Oh, it's one of those games where it's like they're very clever with how they seal off <laughs> the area. Let's just keep walking. Oh, he's not interested. He's just gonna go. Was this, was this crowd of people always here? I would like to talk to them, see what they have to say. Or are these the, uh, the journalists? Let's go. Oops, how did I do that wrong? Let's go. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, I think the other one's forgetting out of there. The only thing I wish is I wish I could like have that view where you can sort of look around instead of it being dictated by your walking because it can be difficult. Awesome. Okay, so that trailer was actually, or sorry, not trailer, but demo was actually quite tame, especially in comparison to Detroit Become Human. But I'm actually already super excited. <laughs> I already want to know more. I want to know more about this killer. I want more of the story. So lucky for these guys, I think this game is on sale. And if I'm going to double check, and if it is on sale, I more than likely will doing a playthrough on this very soon. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Twitch, and I'll see you in my next playthrough.